Hello amateurs and welcome back to our Sixth Nations series. I'm going to be here with you throughout the championship so hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. What an incredible starting weekend. The France Ireland game was just full of drama. France not really turning up. Ireland absolutely did and this video is going to be all about the team selection for France this coming weekend against Scotland. I mean, France just never really got going, certainly not for any periods of time anyway, in the weekend just gone. The red card to Valencia was a, a speed bump, but I don't think it's a major factor actually in the way this game went. Ireland were dominant and France really struggled to get a foothold at home in Marseille. Elko and I reviewed that game fully, um, digging into all aspects of it and I'm going to link it up there if you want to go and look at the full in-depth match review of that match. Now Gautier has drafted in seven new players to the squad but don't read too much into that they've got some kind of a professional game agreement over there where kind of players can come and go so players are coming in and out of that squad on a weekly basis however they are missing Belemsa almost certainly, uh, Wardy due to injury um, I think that's it so um, yeah, there'll be some changes, but Gautier's also said we have to live with this as a squad. So I don't I don't know. I'm not anticipating wholesale changes, certainly. So let's start with the forwards that I expect to start against Scotland. And as always, we'll look at the players that I think will keep their place <clears throat> from the previous week. I thought the scrum went pretty well. Uh, and actually. Cyril Bay and, and Winnie Antonio both showed up fairly well in the loose as well with some good carries. So they keep their spots. Malvaca, Marsh, Marchand, the lineup was a bit of an issue. Malvaca, I don't think, played too badly. He certainly showed a lot of energy. He showed up more than other, some other players did. But I think there could be a decision to be made there. The number four jersey was born by Valenza, who basically committed professional suicide. So I don't expect to see him back in a French shirt, maybe ever. Um, and then Gabrilag started at five. And as I said, the lineup was a problem. So maybe Wocky will come in. I'm not sure. The back row, super experienced. And although it wasn't their best night, I think they will stick with those guys. Okay, this is who I think they'll start with. I think they'll go with Marchand. I think at the start of the game, it could be very kind of nervy. Scotland are coming off the back of an awful 40 minutes themselves. So I think maybe they'll just want the grind, the sort of combative nature of Marchand in there. Uh, Roman Tarpanoa was ill last week. I'm going to assume he's going to be fit this week. I don't know. But if he is, then he'll start for me. And we'll keep Gabrielag in there as well for some consistency. Again, I don't think he played. He scored a try and I don't think he played badly. So I think we'll keep him in there. OK, on to the backs. And again, these are the players I think will keep their shirts for certain this coming weekend. Jalibert was, uh, yeah, non-existent for a lot of this game. But France got so little go-forward ball. That's when he comes alive like he did for the Peno try. So I still think he's the best 10. And I think he'll start this coming weekend. And the same goes with the rest of the uh, centres there. Dante and Fiku, again, not the greatest night. But I still think they're the best players. Peno's the best winner in the world, as far as I'm concerned. So there's no question there. And Ramos, although missing one kickable penalty, is still a quality operator. The question marks come at nine for me and 11. Nine, France failed to get going forward at all. And I just feel something between the connection between Luca and his forwards just wasn't quite right. They weren't being direct enough. They weren't getting go forward ball. So... Is it potential a chance that he might move out of the side for Le Garrick? And at 11, Mofana did fine, but I think maybe looking to the way the Scots play and are potentially not being quite as attacking, or sorry, kicking quite so much to that wing, whether Biel Barry might be the better option and give France that real flair uh, in the left wing spot. Not forgetting, of course, Bill Berry's been a, a rising superstar for the past 12 months and did, he did okay off the bench. Okay, this is what I think. I think they're going to stick with Luku, you know. I think Jalibert needs that stability of his club partner inside him. And I think they'll be more straightforward in their forward play. I think they'll really uh, prioritise getting over the game line and just being super physical. And I think that'll help Luku to play better. 
And I think they're going to go with BL Barry on the wing. I think they need that little bit of sparkle, a little bit of gold dust out there in the backs this week. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We shall see. On the bench, we've got Malvaka to come on. Sebastian Tarfanua, Roman's brother in at the loose head uh, because Wardy's injured. Aldegario, I thought, did well, well off the bench, keeps his spot. And I think Pasolo Tuolagi, who could have been a starter, I guess, but I think he's only just made it into the squad. And that was only off the back of injury. He had a promising performance last week, but I think you keep him on the bench and give him another sort of solid 20 minutes to go out there and be a wrecking ball like he is. Same goes with Wocky and Budenhurt. They did fine off the bench, but didn't really change the game. And Legaric is close selection for me. Like he, he was really lively when he came on the pinch. And, you know, maybe you would go the other way around and say you get him on the pitch to start to get France's forwards going forward. But I think this is what they'll go with a Moafana to come on, cover wing and centre. France have got to show up this week. That's the big thing. I think they're going to play probably a little bit more simple from the start. And they're just going to prioritise being physical and getting over the game line. And they'll, the rest will come for them. It's going to be a big test for them psychologically. We thought the performances that we saw last week were gone now from French rugby. You know, that here or there performances were historically a feature. But I think that was a bit of a shock. It was a, definitely a bit of a shock. So I, it'll be so intriguing to see how they come out, how they approach this game this weekend. Certainly, there's going to be no lack of drive from the coaching staff, that's for sure. But what do you think? Do you think I'll pick the team that Gautier is going to pick? Do you think it's the right team to beat Scotland? Do you think they can beat Scotland? If so, or otherwise, let me know in the comments down below and give this video a uh, thumbs up while you're down there. It helps other people find it and all that good stuff. And you can subscribe there. You can watch that one next. And don't forget to get out and play.